Joining us now via Skype from the United States is our correspondent, Aditola Ogumemi. Tola, it's good to have you on right now. Can you tell us what is going on with the uh, issuance of the uh, passports and visas right now? What is really the challenge? Because when they talk about the, uh, one of the reasons given as uh, electricity, <laughs> failure of electricity, one wonders if that is obtainable in the United States the way it is back in Nigeria. Yes, hi Mike. Um, basically, what we've heard this morning is that they're having issues with their air conditioning system and that due to the heat in the building, they will not be able to make use of some of the equipment that they used to print the passports and the visas. And also, they're telling people that even if they can't give them passports, they can issue them visas to travel. But the Nigerians here are saying they're Nigerian citizens and they don't want to be issued visas to go to their country. So that's one part. Another part is some people are paid online already and they've come from several parts of the United States. Some traveled from as far as Oregon to New York to come and collect this passport and they were given appointments for this morning at 10 a.m. Many of them got here as early as 7 a.m., but since they got here, they have not been attended to. The doors have, have been locked. You can see them right behind me, gathered around the door. Just now, somebody came to pass across an information to them saying they need about two or three people to represent those that are outside to come inside to speak. Also, I tried to speak to people from the embassy, and they told me that they are not allowed to speak to press. So it's a standstill here. People are wondering what's going on. And maybe when the representatives go in and come out, so we're able to give the people here, you know, some information as to exactly what is going on. Now, Tola, give us an idea of how it works exactly so that perhaps we'll understand why the issue has degenerated into a protest and uh, people are gathered there to demand their documents. Okay, let me use myself as an example. I just renewed my, my passport, but I did it in Washington, D.C. The first thing you do is you pay online to innovate services. You pay about over $100 to renew your passport, and then they're supposed to tell you to come in, take the picture, and then come back and pick it up in a week, which is what many of these people here have done. You pay, many of them are paid online for the, you know, the service, and they told them, you know, like, you know, they send you like an email asking you to come in and come and receive your passport on so the so day or to come and take the picture. So that's what they've done. They've paid online now. They've come, many, many of them say they've come to take the pictures and then they'll come back again maybe in a few days to collect the passport. So what they are saying to them is, you know, unlike me in Washington, D.C., which was easy, in a week I got my passport. But they are telling them now that because they cannot print the passport, they cannot give it to them. And what people are saying is, if you can give us the passport here, then refer us to D.C. or refer us to Atlanta, which is another state where it's being issued, so we can just go there and pick it up. Don't tell us to just come here and wait. But they are saying there's no correlation between the consulate here and the one in D.C. or the one in Atlanta, that they are all separate entities and they all work separately. So that's, you know, that's the issue they are having right now. All right. Now, you, you spoke to some of the protesters there. What exactly are their comments? What are they saying and how are they reacting so far? Mike, they are frustrated. I spoke to a family that said she came with her husband from Oregon on Saturday, that they had to book a hotel because they felt they would just come in this morning, pick it up and then go back. But she's still here and she's so frustrated. I also spoke to a young girl who said she wants to travel home to go visit her family. But you know, she's been here all day. She said, she said she's been trying to collect her passport for over two weeks. But they're telling her she has to be given a visa and she doesn't want to travel into Nigeria with her American passport like a visitor when she's a member, when she's a Nigerian. You know, so it, it, you know, it, it's funny when you look at it, but at the same time, people are really frustrated. You know, it, it's been a very, in fact, you know, they have glass doors at the consulate and people have been banging on the glass doors. And they are saying they are going to break it down if they don't open the doors for them to go in and speak to somebody. Now, before they break down the doors, have you been able to speak with consulate officials? Is it likely that they'll address uh, the press or the protesters uh, in a short while? Okay, Buki, I traveled here from Washington, D.C. this morning. I got in as early as 7 a.m. I've been standing out here. And they got here by 10 a.m., which is the time they're supposed to resume. I tried to talk to them while they were going in because they didn't allow me inside. As soon as they saw my camera and everything, they sent me outside and said I wasn't going to be allowed in. But as soon as they got here, I tried to talk to a lady. Her name is Miss Choma. And, you know, I tried to engage in conversation. I told her that I want to get the angle of the consulate so we can tell, the, so we can balance the story 
but she told me that she's going to go in and then come back out and let me know if she's allowed to speak to me. That was about, you know, five minutes before 10 a.m. here. And that's American time. And I'm still waiting. And she hasn't come back out to talk to me yet. And I'm still here. All right. Daytala, we expect uh, uh, Chioma to come out to talk to you so you can get the perspectives of the consulate. Thank you very much for uh, giving us updates there. We'll keep a tap on you on that.